Today we're talking about a topic that is very very common in women and it's also very common for me on myself in myself I don't even know how to say that because I'm not from here so I don't know how to speak English apparently that's what people say okay so today's topic is flat chested women this is me sweating my ass off because I know I'm gonna expose myself right now welcome um, one of the problems that I encounter in my short life, you know, trying to live in this world without titties, is that when I wear, I'm gonna say it in Spanish how they call it in Spanish, bajimamas, this type of shirt star doesn't have straps or anything. Whenever we black chested women wear those type of shirts, we're bound to have an accident. We're bound to just... Yeah. Okay, let's put um, in a scenery. Say I'm going to a party and I'm like, you know what, I want that one, I want to wear that one and, ooh, and I'm dancing and dancing and putting my hands up and then all of a sudden I realize that my blouse, instead of being up here covering my non-existent titties, it's actually down here covering my belly button. What? What? I don't know what happened. Is it my fault? No, right? <laughs> Second point. Imagine you want to go to a really fancy party and the only dress available is a V-cut. Very, very, very like extreme V-cut. You have to wear that one because there's nothing else because you're stranded on an island and there's no more stores. That's the only dress that is laying around that survived and you have to wear that one. All right, that's not gonna happen. You get the point. Guess what? You can't wear it because when you put it on, you move, everything's out. Everything's out. Why? Why? Is it my fault that I don't have titties? Why, Peacock? That's betrayal. Because if you don't have anything, they should stick in there because there's nothing, you know, to be on the way. No all the opposite because there's nothing to actually hold them in place hold them dress in place you're gonna be showing everyone your titties why <laughs> third point you're going to the store and you encounter this very beautiful flowy blouse you decide to buy it because you say it's flowy i don't have titties but you're not gonna see it because it's like flowing, you know, like I have no problem with it when you have to go to the park with your nieces and nephews and they start running and running and running and then all of a sudden one of them falls down and you have to go and pick them up what do you do? first thing you do is you go like this, right? so your blouse is gonna go like this, right? you're screwed of course you're screwed because people would know titties never wear bras I'm not wearing one now because I don't even need it I don't even know what that is So of course you're gonna be able to see everything Like everything, every single point, hair, whatever It's gonna be seen, you're screwed I'm telling you, flowy blouses are hell Do not think they're your friends because they're gonna stab you in the back Okay, next point the next point is when you want to buy a dress. You see those skin tight dresses that go like... Those. This is the problem with those dresses. And not even skin tight. Sometimes even flow with dresses. They have one sizing in here, but they go hand in hand with your waist and also your hips, right? Flat chested people, we can't wear those things. Why? Because when you actually find a dress that is gonna fit up here, guess what? Doesn't, doesn't fit, fit your bum. Because from here down, you're a f thick. But from here up, you look like a 13 year old. <laughs> I can fathom the idea. I just, I, I just don't know what. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm not allowed to just wear dresses? Do I have to go to a tailor to fix my dress every time? Am I bound to always spend extra money? Why, why, why? 
why don't people do a dress for double, triple, four times A for your titties and extra large for your booty? What am I supposed to do? Just not wear dresses because they don't fit me? Next. <laughs> The other day, I was, you know, watching TV, and I see this lady. She had a um, bodysuit, and it was like, okay, it was like this. She was showing side boob. Man, she looked sexy. I was like, I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> I will not, because I'm already grown, and I don't have titties for that. There's no side boob because the blouse covers everything. Where's the side boob? Where? Nowhere to be found. I just. Can they just do microscopic blouses and microscopic dresses? Not fair. <laughs> next point. So, this next point is very personal. All the people that cannot buy anything from Victoria's Secret. Not that I want to buy anything, not anymore. That company's dead to me. But. I go in there and they're always too large for me. They don't fit me. I look like a fucking monster when I put them on. Like it looks like that's not. I don't. I don't know. I. I I'm like. Why, a woman like me, cannot feel sexy like other women with underwear? Because they don't just. They just don't do underwear for my type of. Why? Am I that ugly? I mean, I know I'm ugly, like, come on, I'm fucking ugly. But, like, you don't have to tell me on my face. I tell myself that I'm ugly, but I don't let anybody tell me I'm ugly, okay? <laughs> the next point is also talking about bras. Let's talk about bralettes. This type of bras. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. <laughs> I can't wear them. If I put them, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you though because I'm that crazy. But if I put them on, they're empty. And you know what? That one is a double A. They're too big. You know what? What I think it is? I think that they don't design those bras that small because they assume if we do that, then 12 year olds and 11 year olds will be wearing those bras and that's gonna be like weird. But I look like a 12 year old so design it for me i know there's many women like that so all the women that are flat chested um please leave a comment down below and make me feel better please just say i'm here I'm, i also i'm also flat hi because i'm Haters will say, then get a boob job. I don't want to get no boob job. I don't want to get my boob puncher and put something inside there. What if I die? What if I, what get, if I cancer? get cancer? What if... <sighs> That's too much. At least for now, I'm not getting that. Nope, not ready for that. What am I supposed to do? Just settle for nothing? Just go braless everywhere? I mean, I don't mind. But like, I want to wear a bra too. I want to be like everyone else because I want to be normal. I don't want to be different. Even though I know I've been different and special is actually, actually really good, good. But I, I, my mind is fucked up. I don't want to be different. So why can I not just... Okay, let's just go to the next point. And that's going to be my last point. <laughs> so my last point are... Nipple covers. They're supposed to be nipple covers, right? That's what they're called, right? <laughs> they cover my whole boob they should just be changed to boob covers right why don't they design a smaller nipple cover for people that have smaller boobs no they don't because they don't care about us they just do them the standard size and everyone is happy but me so you put the nipple cover right problem with that is when it covers your whole boob you know when you're dancing or when you're just walking you sweat right so because your boob sweats the nipple cover detaches from your boob because it's sweaty and then gets wet you're walking and the nipple cover is comes out everybody sees it and you're like tragame tierra Those are the struggles of my life. I I might be ranting, I might be crazy, I might be saying too much. You might think this bitch is rude. But like I hope that this message gets across YouTube and people like me feel better. Alright, so the gist of it of this video is that people who suffer from that just suffer. Like that's an illness. 
Well, that's what they make us believe. So do not believe them. We beautiful creatures with no boobs, we should be thankful that when we jump, it doesn't hurt. We don't sweat under our boobs. We don't have to spend money on those really expensive bras when we go to the gym. We also don't have to spend money on bras because we don't need them. And best of all, our boobs will not sag when we have babies or just gravity takes the best of them so we should be happy that was it subscribe 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 i never say that and like if you liked and then that's it okay bye